and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Stony Nightfall. We're going to be playing a deck with Diana and it's aggressive and it's got the Nightfall stuff, but we're going to be combining that with Demacia for Stony Suppressor to make all spells cost one more. We also have Garen as an awesome top end card because this card's just very powerful. But yeah, this, this card, uh, I think Stony Suppressor is a powerful card that's just kind of getting overlooked. I have some ideas for some more Stony Suppressor decks that I want to play that, that we'll be playing here in the coming days. Uh, but this one looks it may look a little odd to play Stony Suppressor with you know gems, like how we have Gift Giver, Mountain Goat getting gems, we have a bunch of two mana spells. But the thing is, is gems are super cheap, these two mana spells are super cheap. And so hopefully we can still get under the opponent while they're having to spend more mana on more expensive spells. It's still pretty easy to pay to play Pale Cascade at three mana and Sharp Side at three mana. Like that's not that big of a deal. Single combat at three mana. These the all these spells are still good at three mana, where maybe our opponent's playing like Grasp the Undying, they cost six mana that that you know hurts them a lot more and things like that. So uh yeah so we're gonna be trying out stony suppressor here trying to get ahead early we got eight one drops a whole bunch of two mana cards not very much that costs more than two mana so we should hopefully be able to get ahead stay ahead and stony suppressor um you know help us eke out victories that's the goal we're gonna give this a try it's a donation deck we got three donation decks on the docket that's what we're starting with those three donation decks so these are all viewer submitted decks that we're going to be playing we got um, traditional War Mother's Control, Trundle Trindamir. We got Taric Draven, um, that combination coming up. And then we're going to try out kind of a weird combination that may work, may not work. We'll have to see with Lulu and Tom Kench together. That one's going to be a little crazy. But first, we got Stony Nightfall, and we're going to be playing it against Bilgewater Shadow Isles. Y'all let me know if the the um, music is too loud, the board music is too loud whenever we get to this, because I always forget that this board has a louder, like the music's louder on this board. So if it's too loud, let me know. I'll turn down it a smidge. We were peaceful once. Hello. It's Christmas time. All right, I think we go, what are we playing against? Oh yeah, that, I think just go Mountain Goat over Shade Stalker. I was planning on Shade Stalker turn two, but them not having anything out here. Let's lead with the Mountain Goat. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Tough choice for them, tough choice. What to do? Make it worth my while. All right, turn down the music a smidge. Be nothing left when I'm done. Um, it's gonna be an, an annoying one. I want to play that to to stop, uh, make it rain. But that really shuts me down quite a bit, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Because basically it's like we do this, then then what's our plan for Shade Stalker the next turn? I'm gonna pass. Why why spend a mana to play the flower? You said should do this and then drop Shade Stalker. Why spend that mana? Because I couldn't play. Oh oh, then play Shade Stalker, not Suppressor. Oh, you were saying just do just play Shade Stalker. I'm a people person. I was hoping they were going to do that, and then and then last turn, and then I was going to be able to have you know had the attack token, and then I was going to be able to play Diana and challenge Twisted Fate. That was my hope.
All right, we're gonna be doing some invoking and seeing where we go from there. All right, guys, zero mana challenger. I'll go with our Diana. We'll have a couple of challengers this turn, or we can save this zero mana one to help turn on Nightfall next turn. That'll be convenient. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Chosen of the moon, we open our hearts to her gentle light. So just the first game, you know. So I don't want to read too much into it because it's just our first game. But just the first game, the Stony Suppressor seems to be hurting us a ton. No more lies. Your heretic. Hearts and shackles. Hey, what's up, Choo Choo? Hope you're doing good today. Get okay, so they have five cards in hand. I have seven, but three of mine are, you know, like two gems, a dust. But then we also have you know, two cards in play, including a ch champion. Good. Bloom and fade with the morning. Unseen. All right, Shade Stalkers, go help out. But they could not break me. I think I should be waiting to play Stony Suppressor. Playing a lot of Nightfall cards, but I guess Unspeakable Horror created that one. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. Our light grows brighter. Open your eyes. Pill Cascade's awesome. Glad we got we drew every single Pill Cascade in our deck. That's definitely good. So we gotta worry about Riptide Rex. Um. Raise your weapon, so I'll play the Solari Soldier first. Give me four things, so Riptide Rex's damage is split out a little bit more. This is just automatic. Oh no! Wow, no Riptide Rex. I was gonna say it's just automatic that there's gonna be a Riptide Rex, but no. No Rex. That is awesome. Alright, let's attack. I don't think I saved that. It just, you know, it's gonna be a 2 1. I'm just gonna let it die. And this is a Diana's Pale Cascade, so it's a little bit more valuable than a regular Pale Cascade. Ledros? Still in Ledros Atrocity? And Unspeakable Horrors have been awesome. We fight for those who cannot. So plan is Pale Cascade my Diana, so my Diana can challenge the Ledros. 
If they have Atrocity, I have that. Yes, yeah, so I have that single, with single combat. Yeah, I have to either do the Garen or the Diana, which I guess the... I guess the... Is the Diana better than the Garen? I guess it maybe is, because it can challenge and just kill. Like, where if I go this way, they just block... The 5-3 just blocks Garen. Two atrocities? I couldn't stop two atrocities. Hmm. Alright, well. Atrocity got there. Alright, playing V burn. I'm not sure about the Lunari Priestess. Obviously, we're going to keep the Dustbringer and the Diana. Um, I think I'm gonna keep. I don't know. The Nari Priestess is is good. Like that invoke, pretty good. I, have I may regret mulliganing. Forced us to choose death or the blade. We will resist. Yeah, I I also agree. I would I would rather lose to my opponent attacking and killing me than just atrocity. He is not an enjoyable way to lose. But it's a very strong way to lose. There are just a ton of different Shadow Isles atrocity decks. Card that you know pretty easily does like 50% of your life total <laughs> atrocity. Um, it's Hard to stop. Night flowers upon my blade. The promise of a new moon upon you, Green Tender. Make the Empire proud. So I was thinking I was gonna be playing Shade Stalker, but with them playing like the 2-3, we'll have our mountain goat be able to block. Two out of four. No more lies. So the two three can block one of my either two two or two one. Your path ends here. Routes closed. Cygnus could be good. Speaking of good, these jacket butchers look real good. Yeah, I, I feel like this is where, like, I was supposed to, like, lead with Stony Suppressor to kind of slow them down. But we'll do this first. We'll play Stony Suppressor here afterwards. But I guess if I play Suppressor, then I'm not going to be able to play Gem plus Cygnus next turn. Um... Hmm. We have Single Combat plus Cygnus. Next turn. No one's the wiser. We know they have a spell. I want a single combat right now before they can play their spell. But then we won't have Nightfall turned on for Cygnus. Ooh, a hush is interesting. I could just hush the spray fin. Hey, Kitty Dexterity with the cheers. Thank you so much. The Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. 
This war is old as Solari and Lunari alike. All right, we'll hush the spray fin so it can't block. I'll shoot the wings off and we don't have to worry about them responding um, to a single combat. And let's attack with our elusives. It's some it's some kind of three or lo or less cost spell that they grabbed with Sprayfin. We haven't seen what that card is yet, so it's I'm hoping it's like make it rain. No, it's fervor. That was the, fervor was the the worst case scenario. Make it rain, parlay, warning shot, all of those we would have won. All right, so it's not going to be easy. They're not going going away easy. Let's see if they are able to stabilize here. So again, a small sample, but two games where... You know, just another game where I just don't even want to play Stony Suppressor until, like, the very end, like, when when we're done playing everything else, basically, and then we then it's just a 1-3. And not having the most impact. Um, we protect our own. Fear not death. I think we're going to go like this. I make both of these three twos. And yeah, I don't even want to play this because if I play that, I can't play Pill Cascade. Could play it now, but no real use. We could save it for Nightfall. Forgive me. All right, GGS. One on one. No, we had two lethal attackers, so one one Noxion Fervor wouldn't have helped them, Kordak. Yeah. We had two we had two lethal attackers. Alright, Shivana Aurelian Soul. No. Because I go Gift Giver on one. Yeah, see Mountain Goat works here better. Cause if I go Gift Giver on one, and then alright, well, we're going Solari Soldier. Then I was gonna say then I could go Stony Suppressor on two, but then I can't go gem turn on nightfall, play Shade Stalker on three, because it would cost an extra mana. So just mulligan dip. The skies darken with their approach. So this could be Shivana. Bless the people and I hope not. I'm attacking in with everything. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Okay, not Shivana. Duskbringer plus Gift Giver attacks for more than Shade Stalker. We were peaceful. Once. I want to attack for more. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Punish transgressions. I mean, just look at our hand. We're not going to be like waiting and, and trying to, you know, not have any of our things die. Like we need to just pressure. This is definitely a we need to pressure hand. Do you see? Huh. All right, that makes sense. Sharp Sight's pretty awesome. I've been very impressed with that card. Plus two, plus two for the two mana is very good. We're playing the full three copies of Sharp Sight, so I like that. The end of this world draws near. That's bad. Flowers bring the moonlight with them. Unseen, unheard. Of king and country. So didn't play any gems so that we have the two mana for Pale Cascade with the Garen.
That's annoying. That could be game. It's our time. All right, we got four in. Ooh, that could be good. Hopefully this works. Didn't get to draw a card off that pill cascade. At least neither did they. No five mana or less dragon. Love to be able to play Nightfall Cygnus this turn. Uh, but I played those gems before. Where are we at? Just, just the one card with Nightfall so far. So while Stony Suppressor makes them spend an extra two mana, it looks like they easily have that mana to spend. And a 1-3 body is not helping us out. Alright, hopefully we draw a spell here. Like a sharp sight would have been really nice. All right, it's possible we got them. They need sharp sight or single combat. It's possible they don't have that. Well, we get the win. Two and one. Devotion to battle. We can, we can challenge Screeching Dragon. Face your heritage. They can't have. I mean, I guess I might as well. See, so, you know, like they're not gonna have. They can't have judgment. They're not like whirling death. Yeah, like that doesn't matter. All right, got there. GGs. I'm revive. Um, I don't know. I, I could see Bastion being good, but then again, do we really need Bastion with these little things? Probably not. So we'll just mulligan it. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. All right, we'll go with the mountain goat. We'll trade there, get a gem. Never mind, not trade there. We get a 2-1. Not too worried about that 2-1. I do love that we have two Lunari Priestess for this matchup. They're going to be sitting back invoking everything. Like, we're going to have to be able to play a longer game. And the Lunari Priestesses do that. Oops, wrong card. Temperamental as moonlight. Um, those very good. Open heart, greet the night. Bless.
bless the faithful and sear the heretics. That card's good. May all those who journey find what they seek. Really? Both Lunari Priestess? We didn't get <laughs> anything good? None of these are any good. Sunlight blinds while moonlight reveals. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know about this one. Alright, we got Eclipse Dragon. That's an awesome card. Here comes the punchline! So I was thinking like Moonsilver Eclipse Dragon this turn, but actually maybe we go to the Diana route. Diana will be a 4-4 quick attack challenger to try to take down Vi. Plus we have a Pale Cascade. Um, if I go... If I go Stony Suppressor... I can still have the mana for... Pale Cascade, but maybe this slows them down. Each act of heresy is an act of passion. Any act of heresy will be punished. Good job, Stony Suppressor. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Change is coming. All right, let's try to get this Vi. I think, puppy, we can do it. The guilty will bend. All right, kill the Vi. That's cool. They're still left with seven cards in hand compared to my four, but we killed Vi. That's big. I'm doing this. Oh, come on. Another Vi? So let's see, we could go... We could make this Tony Suppressor 2, 4... That's not enough. With the challenge. Hit him where it hurts. Freeze. Just take that. Justice for Demacia. Ooh, I love the Bastion. All right, so yeah, I lo love that Bastion. Let's go gem here. Go Cascade here. Moonlight guide me. Night descends. I will be heard. No, we got Bastion for protection. Good hush. Oh, yeah. 
Now that they can kill my Garen too. Great turn for them. Judgment, judgment doesn't do anything. Is the spell shield? But we got Eclipse Dragon. Hopefully, we get an awesome Celestial Follower and Dragon Follower. Hopefully. What do I think about the Lee Sin Zed deck? I, I honestly prefer Lee Sin Zed in Freljord. Most people play it in Targon. I prefer it in Freljord. I'll just lead with the Destroyer. I'll just having the attack token here. I was thinking I was going to go Garen plus Priestess plus Shadestalker and go triple spell like that. But it's probably better to just play this Destroyer right now and then we can play Priestess or Shadestalker as well if we decide to. Probably better just to play this really big thing. Alright, so they just discarded a hush and a hush. Okay, so no more hush. Now we can freely play around hush. Okay, we'll play the Shade Stalker before combat. Now maybe the Priestess. They both attack for two. Let's get the Invoke card. Um, I mean, can't go wrong with Cosmic Inspiration. But the Traveler could also get, like, a Cosmic Inspiration or something like that. Let's we'll take the Cosmic Inspiration. The thing is, is they could... My only... Guess I let them kill the Stony Suppressor. My only... Um... Celestial card that I'm beholding right now is this Destroyer, so if they do get rid of the Destroyer in response to the Inspiration, then it won't go through. But do you need to watch out for that. It's not too likely. Bask in her radiant blessing. All right, cool. So I feel very good about this game. That was an awesome uh, Eclipse Dragon, that's for sure. Vi stands for violence. Well, there's still that card. Flash of Brilliance and Gem. The moon approaches her zenith. May her silver light enshroud us. Might as well develop. We fight for those who cannot. I'm used to Vi with Heimer with Ionia. The journey is difficult. You cannot stall the There we go. Um, we got three, four, four, five, seven. Attack it on in. GG's. Alright, three and one. We drew quite well that game. Our first two Lunari Priestesses didn't do very much, but still, we had our Lunari Priestesses, we got our Eclipse Dragon, and got our good at grind stuff. Alright, let's see. Diana and Fizz. Fizz Diana's pretty cool. I like it. The thing is, is I like all these cards, but also they're very slow. Um, but I like all of them. We're gonna get rid of Garen, and we're gonna get rid of one Lunari Priestess, but I feel bad for even mulliganing Lunari Priestess. The card's very good, but we don't have any of our one mana cards right now. 
kind of felt like we would draw one in the next three, peaceful. considering we had three cards. Or since we have it's nine one drops time. and three draws, I kind of thought that we were going to draw one drop. But it's okay. This could honestly be a very good Stony Suppressor matchup, like against Fizz. The problem is, is I do want Sharp Sight this turn. I want to block Fizz. So I don't want them just to get a whole bunch of gems. I'm not going to be casting the sharp side in, until we're blocking Fizz and getting a surprise block on Fizz. So my plan is to gem Stony Suppressor. And then play Priestess. Maybe I should just be, you know, grabbing that that three three with it being an elusive. There being plenty of elusives in their deck. All right. Golden Sister is good. I'll work out. Face your heretic. Reconsider. Okay, we'll take that out. Now, six mana next turn. I guess we're just going to be going Golden Sister. Yeah, Hush just dealt two damage. I don't know if they thought that that it wouldn't be able to block if they hushed it, but it was already in combat, so I guess that's that's what they that's what they had to think, right? That it wouldn't be able to block anymore. Yeah, now they're a little confused. Feel very good about getting this game and going four and one. I'd be surprised if we lose it from here. But that doesn't mean that we can't lose it from here. This may not be surprised. I think the Mega Rain missed. Yeah, it missed. Oh man, another sharp sight? Poor elusives. Um. Make these things six sixes. I guess I just get rid of my elusive over getting rid of my lifesteal. We should have this no problem. Another golden sister. Nice. 
We're going Garen, Diana. Actually, let's just go another Golden Sister, Diana. to attack. We can just go ahead and pass. And we're still just fine with another sharp sight. Yeah, we're good. Alright, GG's. Five, four, and one. We speak, and they will Diana's hear us. really good. These Nightfall cards, really good. And then just paired it with very efficient Demacia cards. Um, love Sharp Sight, Single Combat, Garen. Those are awesome. Sony Suppressor didn't do that much for us. It was a little disappointing. Um, it was okay at times. But. Honestly, didn't do that much for us, but just the, the Demacia cards um, combined with these Targon cards did work out really well. And just being, like, you know, we're real low to the ground. 30 of our 40 cards, 75% of our deck cost one or two mana. So very low to the ground. Still had some good late stuff with the Lunari Priestess invoking. Um, the one Cygnus was clutch, got us a win. The one Eclipse Dragon was pretty clutch. So both those one ofs were very clutch. Um, so yeah, everything, everything worked out, worked out really well, honestly, just the cards lined up well for us in these games. Um, so there we go. That's Stony Nightfall. I'm not sure if like Stony Suppressor should be replaced or not. I don't know. Still kind of on the fence about that. Um, yeah, just kind of, kind of on the fence. I don't know. I could, I could definitely see replacing it. But also it was it was okay. It was the first couple of games it didn't do too much for us, but later on, like that last game, it, it was going to be very good. But you know they killed it. Kind of the the fourth fifth game, I think it started looking a little better. Um, but I could also see it see these stony suppressors just being more kind of like Cygnus and Eclipse Dragon kind of cards. These cards both looked awesome, um, or just like I don't know, Concerted Strike. To help take down bigger things or something like that but um anyway that's stony nightfall those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments let me know what you think about the stony suppressor in this kind of deck if you would replace it if you wouldn't um what you know if you would replace it what would you replace it with anything like that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video